how does it feel to be back on the field participating with your teammates again? It's great, man. You know, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, and, you know, I'm just taking advantage of every moment that I have back, you know, after everything that happened. You know, it feels good to be back for sure. And how much have the guys been asking you about things, or have you had a lot of dialogue with what uh, you've been through the last few months? Uh, not really. Everybody's been kind of like, you know, he's not showing he's, you know, drugging down by it, so it's just kind of like they're willing to help me move through it and move past it, So, and, which is what I would like to do for sure. And physically, how are, how are you doing? I mean, I'm, I'm great. I'm full of 100%. You know, I'm coming in, giving a great effort every day, so I feel confident in you know, this year coming up. What kind of things did you personally focus on this offseason to get better? Did you get your game better? Uh, my conditioning and then also just lower body strength overall. You know, that was something I felt was you know somewhere I felt like I lacked last year. And so that's kind of where I was attacking this off season, this past off season, and this off season, just making sure that I'm putting a lot into that part, side of my game. Yeah, lower body strength, of course, help you with your blocking. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, pass block and run block, all of it. You know, I want to be overall, you know, an overall tight end, not just you know pass catcher. How long did it take before you felt like you were a big bad player? I would, I would, I don't want to say your old self, but where you were feeling well and could get back right on the field. Um, when I got home, it was in mid-January, and I was feeling about 100%, you know, back to normal-ish, probably around end of February, early March. That's kind of where, you know, I got cleared from everything. I did all the tests and all that kind of stuff, and it cleared me. Late February, early March, when you begin off-season conditioning anyway? Yeah, okay. so it was just like t perfect timing. Came back, you know, dove right in and felt great. Have you watched a play or seen it? Uh, I mean, I, where can I see it, you know? Right. But, I mean, I've watched it. You know, I've come to terms with it happened, and, you know, I've seen it a bunch of times, and I've talked to the people I love and, you know, people around me in my circle, and, you know, they you know, don't rush coming back and all that kind of stuff, and so that was my big thing, making sure that I was ready to come back. So that's kind of what happened. So, I mean, once I once mid-March came around, I was like, okay, I want, to, I want to do this. You know, I want to do it right, making sure I'm taking the right steps and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I remember everything up until I got into the uh, the ambulance. They put me to sleep, so it was just, after that it was, you know. So they put you to sleep, you weren't in pain then? Were you in pain? Mm -mm. It was all just kind of like, I'm there, you know, just stiff as can be, couldn't move, but after that, you know, I was out. Going through an experience like that, what kind of maybe appreciation do you have now for your life loss? Oh, it was, it was it's crazy because you know, once it happened and I was in the hospital and I was just kind of like, will I ever play again? That like that reality set in very quick. And so it was just kind of like, man, I really had to you know, take my time and really just think about if this was something I wanted to do for the rest of my life or the rest of my career, you know, and just making sure that, you know, this is what I wanted to do and make my mind up to do it. And then also taking the right precautions and, you know, seeing the doctors, listening to what they say, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. You know, I love the game. I just, and then this team makes me feel part of, you know, a family. So that's kind of where I wanted to be. Has anybody reached out who's had hard hits or scary times like that? Any other players reached out to you just kind of gave their feelings? Or, you know? Well, I have family, you know, that's been through, you know, tough injuries. And also, I mean, my own, you know, immediate family, we've all went into like a bad car accident, you know, like years back. But it was kind of like, you know, you just got to make sure that you're ready to, you know, continue your life and not let this one thing happen and stop you from, you know, your goals and your, you know, your, your outsets, you know, that you want to do in your life. So you just kind of have to, you know, keep putting your best foot forward at anything. Can you touch on the camaraderie that you mentioned that brought you back here? Touch on that camaraderie that's building here. You've been here for a few years. Can you kind of see this develop? Will you elaborate on that one? Yeah, I mean, this Staley's done a very good job, in, you know, in terms of getting us to be as a team. You know, he's very, you know, prominent about being a team and, you know, being a family because these are your brothers that you're going to battle with every Sunday. And, you know, so that's the big thing, you know, that I've gotten from him. And it's very special to me because, you know, family is everything to me. And so that's kind of where I want to be. You know, extended families always love, you know what I mean? So I like that about, you know, Staley and what he's trying to do here. What's, um, what's it like being in that tight end room? Because you guys added Gerald Everett and everything. 
and just what's it like in there now? You know, it's a fun group of guys. You know, everybody's talented. You know, it's very comp competitive in there. And, you know, we all like to have a lot of fun, but, we, you know, we take it day by day, you know, making sure we're taking the right steps for practice and making sure that we're doing everything we can to help this team for sure. What's it like for you just the fact that you're out here in OTAs and everything and that you didn't have to set out off-season programs to where your first on-field would be training camp, which is a little more physical than this? I mean, like I said, it's just good to be back for sure. To start out, what, what appealed to you about the Chargers when you had an opportunity to sort of be a free agency and, and look for a potential destination? I mean, everything. I think it starts with the foundation up top, uh, very firm. Coach Staley's doing a great job and uh, connected with him. And then just the atmosphere that they had. Uh, and then this is home for me, so it just made complete sense and get the best of all worlds for my family and uh, being able to be on the West so they can come watch me play and then to be with a group of guys and the coaching staff they have in place, uh, it's special and I'm excited to be a part of it. Obviously, this is your early days here, but uh, how does uh, this environment uh, feel compared to some of the other environments you've been in? <laughs> it's a little different. Um, I like this environment. I, I'm ready for it. Uh, it's, it's new and uh, it's refreshing for sure. And, you know, there's a time and a place for every environment. I think that was good for me when I was in my career and needed those things. And where I'm at in my career now, this is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm ready for that. I'm ready for the opportunities and the challenge of another season. And uh, be with the group of guys that I am. I'm, I feel very fortunate because we have a good group of guys. We all hang out with each other already. We, you know, we joke and have fun. And we also work. Uh, at the end of the day, we keep. Uh, football, football, and we focus on that. How much did you uh, did you know about Coach Staley before you guys connected this offseason? I've been watching him a while just because 3-4 defense. Um, he runs a 3-4, so it's, things have crossed over. Uh, back at previous employments, we've stole stuff from them. We've, you know, they've stole stuff from uh, from where I played. So um, it, I've been a fan of him for a while. Just defensive mentality and uh, he's a good person too. Uh, what you see is what you get and um, it's it's refreshing to have a young coach uh, th with his mindset to lead a team and to be around them and really truly feed off of that and then have a group of guys feeding off his energy and his juice each and every day um, and coming out to practice and working really hard just like the coaches do. Yeah, I mean, I won't, I won't go into detail on those, but of course, you, I, I would say when you're new, you have conversations with him, and you know, he asks some questions about how things are going and how things are looking, and you know, we dive into the X's and O's just like he does with everybody on the team. I don't think it's anything different, but you know, I, I enjoy. Um, the way he looks at the game, how he approaches it. He's a football guy, 100%. Loves the X's and O's just like I do. It's fun to communicate with him about the ball, the just football in general, just uh, history and present. No, what, uh, I'm talking good about you. <laughs> talking good about you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. These guys have talked a lot about your versatility. Uh, how do you anticipate being used in this game? That's a secret. I, I, you know, I can't, I can't give you divulge everything we're doing back here. But I think they have a really good plan. I'm excited. I really am truly excited about you know the opportunity of playing in the NFL still. And a lot of people, are, you know, can say whatever they want about me. I can't play in different schemes or yada, 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 but I'm just so excited to uh, prove the people wrong and the naysayers. But honestly, I want to prove the people right, my family that believe in me each and every day, the coaches, the players that I've already gained the trust of, and I hope to continue to gain their trust to just play at a high level and help the team win. 
Um, something about me, I love winning. I don't care about stats. Most people do, like, that's all fine and Danny, but at the end of the day, uh, when you get to hold up the trophy, nobody really can say nothing. And I, I want to be able to do that, and I want to bring uh, that juice each and every day to practice, fuel the team, and each game that I play on. Play on. You know, I, you know, as the world we live in right now, it's it's a little crazy, and, you know, there's a lot of things that are out of your control, but something I can control is how I play, and I hope to control that and play with a high effort because you never know. You brought up winning. One thing Coach Daly has talked about a lot is bringing in guys that have a championship pedigree. Yeah. And you're obviously one of those guys. When you come into a building and, and you know, that's sort of what the coach is talking about, like you like the fact that he's he's won, do you do you vocalize that to your teammates? How do you go about sort of, you know, creating that 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 culture, that mentality among your teammates as a guy who, who's won it and won it multiple times? I think that, that's a good question. I think it's a time and a place for everything. I think uh, you'll be able to pick your your spots when you need to say stuff. But I think at the end of the day, it comes with your work ethic and uh, gaining the trust of coaches and players and just work. And then w when you're able to uh, have your play let, let you do the talking, then you're able to uh, speak and speak the truth because they've seen it with action. And I'm a big, uh, big person, big believer on uh, practice what you preach. So you got to do it for, first before you start preaching. What's it been like just going through the defense and install right now? Has it been easy to pick up? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I, as I've gotten older, I've gotten better at, you know, going through a defense and studying and putting things together. I think there's always a learning curve no matter what. Um, but I feel like I've done a good job, and I, I hope to master it by the end of the summer before uh, we put the pads on so you can do less thinking and more just worry about hitting and uh, winning. Yeah, I don't think anyone can deny sort of the collection of talent that you guys have defensively here at all three levels. But I had no idea we had that. Yeah, well, what does it take to take that kind of talent and turn it into – an actually successful defense. Yeah, uh, another great question. I think, you know, talent can start you, but it's not going to get you anywhere if you can't put it together. Um, it, the, the more we get together, the more we continue to work together and work and work and work some more, I, I think we'll, we'll be all right. But it doesn't matter how much talent we, ha we have at the end of the day. You got to put it together, got to have the right pieces and uh, we're we're gonna try to do our best. Speaking of the talent that you have, do you think that this team has championship qualities? And are <laughs> I think OTAs. I think everybody wants to win the Super Bowl right now, right? <laughs> I think we just gotta take it one day at a time. You can't. That's so far away. That's all the way in February. Right now, we're, we're just building the foundation. Um, Build it, laying, laying the work for when things get tough. You can rely on your fundamentals and focus on that. So, you know, I'm not going to compare teams since I've been on some winning championship teams, but we're, we're, we're starting at the basics, and I'm okay with that, and I like that. It's, it's a time and a place to work, and we're working right now. In terms of your, your versatility, you know, being able to play off ball and as an edge player, that's something that Brandon has talked about saying specifically in this scheme or anything like that, but in terms of your skill set, what do you think allows you to, to have that kind of versatility to play both those spots at a level? I think it starts with IQ. Uh, I, I'm very prideful in what is going on around me and how I approach the game and I'm trying to get the most out of players around me. Um, I, I just have always been someone that I'm not a hater. I want everybody to do well. Like, I believe in that because I believe in good energy, good karma. And, you know, I, I believe if I can pump the next guy up next to me to be their best, you know, that's going to make me want to be on my best game too. Just competition, keep that always up. And, you know, I take pride in that 100%. And then I think God blessed me with some athleticism and being able to, able to move around at my size. And, um great trainers to help me get right so 
I think it's a little bit of everything involved with that. It took a village to get where I'm at today. And so got to give credit to a bunch of coaches for helping me get to this point. So that's helped out a lot. So a little bit of everything. I saw on your podcast the other day or yesterday that you want to leave a legacy here with the Can you speak on that? Yeah. I mean, I think anybody wants to, I, well, I hope they want to, do something special wherever they are and you know I I believe in the foundation that they have here and I just want to be a part of it and help uh, grow it uh, last year they're one they're one win away from making the playoffs and you never know when you're in the playoffs uh, look at look at the Bengals for example I don't think anyone thought they could make it to the Super Bowl in the playoffs and look at what they did and so if you're in the show, anything can happen. And, you know, that's all, all I want to do is get to the playoffs because anything can happen. And, you know, we just got to keep working. Right now we're in non-contact camp, so working on fundamentals and just trying to get that the best as possible.